Hey guys, Tech702 Mike here. This is just a quick little video I wanted to do. I've been seeing all these claims about wearing masks and that they choke you and you can't breathe and all this stuff. So I'm thinking to myself, I have access to the tools to check this. So what I have today is a five gas indicator. It'll tell me what the oxygen level is that we're getting ambiently. And then I also have a pulse oximetry unit, which will go on the end of my finger and it will tell me how much oxygen saturation is actually in my blood. And what I'll do is I'll try it before and then I'll put on a surgical mask and we'll see what I'm getting a reading right inside the mask. Now, a couple of things that go without saying. Everybody's different, different health levels. Uh, usually anything above 94% for the oxygen saturation, it's gonna be okay as long as the person's feeling okay and they have nothing else going on. Um, another thing could be temperature. If you have a high temperature or stress on the body, then, you know, oxygenation, you, you might need a little bit more than you normally would. So nothing is hard and fast. This is just kind of like a fun light experiment. I hope this doesn't just get sent out a million times as an argument of see masks don't work or see masks are killing us or anything like that. It's just for fun. I was curious to see what kind of exchange is going on in the mask. So here we go. Okay, so here we are. Went through the calibration there. You can see the ambient oxygen in the atmosphere is 20.9% as well as it's gonna tell me if bad stuff starts happening, CO, that other stuff. We won't really worry about that. I have the pulse ox rigged up here on this hand. So I'm right at, what is, I don't know if you got, yeah, okay, 96. You see I'm at about 130 beats per minute. Just took pre-workout, this was just a spontaneous thing. So 20.9% oxygen level, nothing dangerous, and cruising around 96 SpO2. That's your oxygen saturation. One quick side note, when you're wearing your mask, if you're gonna wear one, wear it the right way, okay? So it's gotta go over your nose, most of them, especially the surgical ones. I understand there's cloth, makeshift, makeshift stuff. If you're wearing like a surgical mask or like a mask with a purpose, wear it with a purpose, right? So you wanna go over your ears. If you can cinch it down on your nose, I know it's a pain in the butt if you have glasses, and then pull this thing to the bottom of the chin, see? So I'm completely sealed around. That's what you wanna do. Just a little public service announcement, that's all. Okay, nice and snug. Now I'm not gonna breathe through my mouth because exhaling carbon dioxide can artificially blow into the system. I'm just barely gonna penetrate the mask to get what the ambient atmosphere inside my mask is. So it's just barely cracked the seal on the right there. So it looks like the passive ice is going off because I didn't move. But if we look, it got around 18 and a half, 18.7. But the important thing was the oxygen level in my bloodstream, in my extremities, still remained essentially unchanged. So a couple of tidbits about that. So we figured out that the concentration of air that I'm breathing in, I only have about 18 and a half percent. So normal concentrations, we were at 20.9, OSHA defines oxygen efficient at anything below 19 and a half. So 16 and 19 and a half is like the danger zone. But as you saw, my saturation didn't fall in my bloodstream. Now that's a couple of things. One, I'm healthy. I don't have any health effects. I don't have any things that I know of that would cause me to have an, a bad reaction to that. However, if you were to exert yourself, I'm sitting here. If I was to run, um, climb a ladder, or if I was in poor health or even standing up, it could have reduced. So to get a really scientific result, you'd need to do studies while you're moving. It would have to be exactly studying. But to answer your question, just putting on the mask itself, you're not just gonna drop dead from not having enough oxygen, if that makes any sense. Hope this was helpful. Everybody have a great week. Stay safe out there and I'm out of here.